We've all heard of helicopter parents, but apparently there's a new category called lawnmower parents. Lawnmower parents will go to whatever lengths necessary to prevent their child from having to face adversity, to having to struggle or failure. Do you know any lawnmower parents? No. Are you... I'm gonna just uh, tell you right now, uh, I don't. Guilty. Do you really? No, no, I mean, but I think to a certain degree that all parents are kind of helicopter lawnmower parents. Like, we're all just doing it out of love to protect our children, so I don't think there's, you know, any other reason for doing it, but well, I, I think that it's because we're all in a rush. Like, I went to go pick up my three-year-old from preschool the other day, and they said, Harlow, put on your shoes, and I go, she knows how to put on her shoes. Like, I literally had no idea the kid could put her own shoes on because I'm always in a rush. So therefore, I'm like throwing on her shoes. I'm shoving food in her mouth. I'm wiping her butt. And I think we've mm -hmm. got to learn how to just like slow down, yeah. take a breath, and give her the opportunity to show me that she can do it on her own. Yeah. I don't know. As an African-American woman, as a black woman, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know too many black parents that are gonna do that. Normally, we're told you gotta work twice as hard, to 10 times as hard yeah. or whatever, our parents are making sure we're ready for the world to face adversity. So honestly, I don't know any parents yeah, like we that. We know how to make her bed at, yeah, at we... three. <laughs> <laughs> my kids uh -huh. are 11 and 13, and my daughter was born with special needs, so I kind of naturally was a little bit lawn mower yeah. Like, she has to take her medicine, she has to make sure she has her special bag with her special stuff. So there was a lot of troubleshooting yeah. all the time, but yeah. she's gonna be, she's 13 now. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? is that she had two styles of parenting in the house. My mother stayed with me when she was about three or four, and my mom was the one who was like, oh, we're gonna load the dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fold yeah. laundry. Yeah. We're gonna sweep. You we're do gonna chores. You learn how to do stuff and take lunch. Because, but the... see, see, your mother had kids yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the time y'all had that second one, hey, go on, sit down somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they start hearing stuff they never... Marjorie taught me something about parenting. She said, Steve, all of our kids' wings work. Mm. Good. They got to start flapping them. Yep. And Marjorie will leave you out there hanging to dry. And sometimes <laughs> I would look at her and go, baby, baby, let her, let her in, let her do, no, don't, don't let her do, no, no, let her go on down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they toughen so, up. They, yeah. have, they have an emotional toolbox. <laughs> yeah. They have a, they're resourceful and resilient. And well, that's all you really want for right. your kids yeah. at the end of the day. And what I'm starting to realize is she, she loves doing things on her own. It makes her so proud to be able to do things on her own. But I, I have to say that I saw her little cousin was like shutting her in a door the other day and everybody came running to save her. And I said, no, 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 leave her. Right. Let her figure it out on her own because she is now in preschool. So I wanted to see what she would do. Well, she just stood there. So you went and helped? <laughs> so, so finally, before her face was smashed in, I went over yeah. and I said, okay, this is what you have to tell him. No, that's not okay. I don't like that. And then you got to push him on the ground and kick him. And, um... Wow. Yeah. All right. I like that. <laughs> but, well, you know, Steve, you bring up a really, yeah. a really good point about the second child because Sophie was the big, bossy big sister. Yeah. Like, I remember when they were little, she was bossing him around about something, about putting the toy away and doing it, and then I heard Nicholas say, Sophie, you are not the president. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. I don't think What'd so. What'd she say? Yeah, I am. <laughs> you know what? It's sort of crazy because when Morgan was growing up, she used to just boss Jason. Just boss him, boss him, boss him. So they're 15, 16. Jason's a boy now. His strength is there. So she's 20, and Jason's 15. Well, Jason's stronger than her now. <laughs> and so one day, Marjorie and I were walking on a morning walk, and we came back, and Morgan's coming down the hill, and she's upset because her brother had been holding her, squeezing her for 15 <laughs> minutes and wouldn't let her go. Come to find out, Jason got tired of her. Uh. <laughs> He's strong now. He got some muscles. He just, put her he just locked her up and held her <laughs> until she started crying. That was, we ain't had no more trouble out yeah. of that. You know? <laughs> we didn't believe me. But, you know, Marjorie walked in the house like they hadn't said yeah. nothing. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.